Hi, my name's Ian Manuel. I grew up in a place called Central Park Village. The Central Park I grew up in is a lot different than the Central Park you guys might be familiar with. It was filled with guns, violence, drugs, the worst of the worst. Uh, I found myself at the tender age of 13 downtown in the midst of a robbery where someone was shot and it totally transformed my life. I was the person that did the shooting and I'll, I'll never forget that day because it's something that I had to pay 26 years of my life with uh, because the judge at the age of 13 sentenced me to life without the possibility of parole for the crime committed when I was a child based on a small Florida law that says a child of any age indicted for a life or death felony shall be treated in every respect as if he were an adult. So I could have been six, seven, eight, nine, ten. it didn't matter. Based on this small little statue, uh, I was sentenced to the rest of my life in prison. And it's a place that I would have stayed had it not been for Brian Stevenson and his just mercy and him rescuing me from the depths of despair. I, uh, I became a poet in prison after someone sent me Tupac Shakur's book, The Roads That Grew From Concrete. I started rewriting Tupac's poems uh, and started sharing them with my fellow prisoners. I started rewriting Eminem's raps. I started rewriting Maya Angelou's poems, Langston Hughes, and I set up Olympic style obstacle courses of writing in my cell. I challenged myself like, Ian, if you can't rewrite Eminem's Lose Yourself uh, better than him or just as good, then you don't have what it takes to be successful. This was the type of pressure I put on myself to rewrite these words. And I shared them with my fellow, fellow prisoners. And prisoners are the toughest critics in the world. And so, I mean, they're tougher than Simon Cowell or the Sandman on Apollo. And they gave me uh, applause. They, they told me how good I was. And then they started paying me to write their girlfriends and their wives poems. That's when I knew I had a gift. And I, it's through my poetry and my words now that I seek to share my story with the world. My story is too complex to tell within a five, five minute span. So uh, what I wanna encourage you to do, I'm signed to Penguin Random House and I'm uh, writing my own memoir. A lot of people keep writing about me. Nicholas Kristoff just wrote a book called uh, T uh, 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 Tightrope. Of course, Brian Stevenson wrote about me in Just Mercy. But I'm writing my own story so I could tell it in my own words. And, and the name of it is My Time Will Come. After so many years of despair and just waiting, I finally feel my time is here. And come share my story with me whenever you find time to pick up a copy of my book scheduled to be released in 2021. I've been through a lot of pain. I've been through a lot of tragedy. I lost my entire family during my incarceration. Mom, brother, dad, uh, aunt. But through it all, I held on to my strength and my faith in God that my time will come. Thank you.